At the Shanghai Auto Show, there was something like over a hundred new cars shown. And I think one of the most important cars on show was this car, the Xpeng G6. This is a very important car for Xpeng. I certainly have a lot of questions about it. This is Inside Xpeng, a social media magazine where we get behind the stories about the company and the cars. I'm your host for this episode, Mark Andrews, and later joining me will be a man in the know who can answer a lot of the questions I've posed, Darren Yu. Hi Mark, I am Darren from Xpeng, glad to be here. Today we are going to try out the cutting edge smart driving and fast charging technologies that are available in the G6 and discover why it offers a fun, intelligent and comfortable driving experience. So Darren, I must say this car is actually really quite a good looking vehicle. Yes. Could you introduce me a bit to some of the highlights about the G6 and how you actually arrived at this? Sure. Our G6 features a sleek and stylish exterior design. First of all, the G6 has clean and smooth lines that contribute to its aerodynamic efficiency. This suspended roof design you can see here, providing ample headroom and legroom space for rear seat passengers. This line reminds me of the P7. Is that deliberate? Yes, we did it deliberately. For a coupe SUV, we need to strike a delicate balance between space and design. So the design of this line could not only enhance its visual appeal, but also increase the rear seat space. So I noticed there's quite short overhangs both at the front and the rear. Yes, the G6 boasts a front and rear weight distribution ratio of 50-50, which ensures a stable and comfortable driving experience without compromising its drivability. Right, at the front, it looks like we have Xpeng's familiar ex-robot face, is that right? Yes, robot face is Xpeng's iconic family design, symbolizing our exploration of advanced technologies and intelligent features. However, one notable change we made on the G6 is the placement of our badge in the middle, giving it a more active and human-like appearance. It'll create a sharper look during the evening, too. So I commented in the front that there was good headspace, but here we are in the back. It's also the case, isn't it? It's very good space here. Yes. One of the key features we believe will make G6 stand out from its peers is the cabin space. Before its launch, many people worried about space inside, given its coupe design. We've managed to address the problem in two ways. Firstly, we create a headroom that is superior in its class. The suspended roof, as I mentioned earlier, displays the sleek coupe silhouette from the outside, yet creates abundant headroom inside. Secondly, we've adopted the CIB technology, or structural battery, increasing the vertical space in the cabin by 5%. Right, so that means basically the batteries can actually be mounted yes. lower in the car, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Right. Yes, that's right. It not only creates more space in the cabin, but also enhances car body structure and lowers the body weight. As a result, it'll greatly improve the overall driving experience. Comfort is at the center of our design philosophy. You can press the button there. Oh, right. Okay, so there's a button here. Okay. The seats are ergonomically designed. Whether you're sitting in the front or back seats, you'll find plenty of space to stretch out and relax during your journey. Okay, so can really go back. So it's now in Highway NGP. I drove it against a few other cars, a few EVs on the track. Certainly with um, the G6, it was really had good acceleration, definitely. I mean, the time is what, 3.9 seconds, zero to 100, and you could definitely feel that. It was possibly a little bit more comfortable going around the track than the Model Y. Sounds amazing, Mark. You know, for G6, intelligence helps to maximize handling experience more so than ever. G6 has a smart four-wheel drive torque distribution system, which can adjust the distribution of torque according to road conditions. More importantly, thanks to our next-gen vehicle architecture platform, SEPA 2.0, G6 is equipped with industry-leading die-casting technology and CIB technology, increasing the rigidity of the car body and reducing car body weight by 17%, thus better handling experience. Right, I think another crucial point about this car is the SEPA 2.0 platform. What more can you tell me about it? Because I'm sure I don't really understand it that well. It's really a long story. SEPA 2.0 is the backbone of Xpeng G6 and our future models. The manufacturing can be scalable. The components, both for hardware and software, are more unified and shareable between different models. 
the R&D and manufacturing cost and duration will be reduced. It enables us to roll out models with our cutting-edge charging and smart driving tech more effectively while upholding higher safety and quality standards. Even though it helps with the safety as well or not? Oh yes, safety is a top priority at XPEC, and the G6 is no exception. We are the only automaker in China to have used both front and rear integrated die casting technology on mass-produced vehicles. This will also allow us to create more smart EVs for the mass market at affordable prices. So earlier we saw a demonstration of the charging. Now, obviously we've got the 800 volt architecture here, but what does that actually mean for the customers? Range anxiety is a significant concern for customers. At Xpeng, we are dedicated to addressing this issue through continuous innovation in charging technology. The 800 high voltage charging platform implemented on the Xpeng models can significantly reduce charging time. For instance, at our ultra-fast S4 charging station, you can charge from SOC 10% to 80% in just 19 minutes. Even at third-party public charging stations, the charging speed is over 50% faster compared to previous 400-volt technologies. And one thing I did notice actually about this car, certainly in the rear-wheel driver, it's got a really good range. It's 755 kilometers or something yes. like that, isn't it? Which is really class-leading. For sure. The 800V platform can not only increase the charging speed, but also provides more effective and accurate range as the components on the entire vehicle platform are unified. Thus, we can monitor the energy consumption more efficiently. Also, with reduced weight by integrated die casting and CIB technology, the car can achieve longer driving ranges on a single charge. So, Mark, how do you feel about the driving experience at this time? Look at us, basically. We've been having a conversation here. Obviously, I'm doing a bit of concentrating on the road, but mainly it's the car doing the driving. So I'm really not having to put much input in. And so I think if you go on a long journey, it's really something that makes a huge difference because you're not having to do all the inputs. And we had a section earlier on where traffic actually was really quite tight on the highway and there was a traffic jam and we really didn't have a problem with that. Xpeng's Highway NGP is a pioneering ADIS technology in China, setting us apart from our peers. It's like a professional NBA player participating in a middle school tournament. Now, we have upgraded the Highway NGP, both in hardware and software. The XNet Deep Neural Network can generate a real-time comprehensive 360-degree bird's-eye view of road conditions. With 508 tops of computing power built within the car, the XNGP system can learn from human drivers and make human-like maneuvers, enhancing the overall driving experience. In the city, obviously it still is a good A, definitely. It handled most of the situations quite well. Compared with Shanghai, yes, I think there were more interventions in Guangzhou, and I think that's partly due to the traffic situation. It seems that it is more complex in Guangzhou with um, the mixture of different vehicles. At Xpeng, we strive to ensure that our smart driving assistance system can outperform even the most experienced and prudent drivers. And we are committed to providing our customers with the latest innovations in smart driving technology. And we will continue to enhance their driving experience through OTA updates. Our vehicles are designed to be future-proof, and we are dedicated to providing our customers with customizable smart driving functions in the future, making their journeys safer, more convenient, and more enjoyable. I have one more question for you. So why is this car important to Xpeng? Every model and every innovation of technology is essential to our mission of advancing the EV industry. The G6, our first new model built on the next-gen SEPA 2.0 architecture, incorporates cutting-edge features and innovations that showcase our commitment to staying at the forefront of the industry. Through the launch of G6, we aim to capture a broader customer base and establish ourselves as a global EV brand. We believe that the G6 will help Xpeng go further in the EV market and continue to drive innovation in the industry. We started today in Jiaoqing and we've driven to Guangzhou and we've had a lot of insight and the inside story behind the design of this car and why it was created from Darren. I've actually been very impressed by how this car drives and also by the way it looks. I'm sure it's actually going to do very well. It's a car that is definitely going to shake up the market in China 
and is offering a very compelling package as a mid-size SUV, particularly as a coupe SUV. This is Inside Xpeng. I'm your host, Mark Andrews. Stay tuned for new stories about Xpeng coming soon.